diligence. All praises to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai Ba'asham Rechak Wadash. The will honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that were all well and laboring this word and doctrine. Shalom Labachaya, peace to the elect. Diligence. Obviously, we've got 10 scriptures here. We'll read them through. I think it will be a short lesson, but we'll see what we can draw out of it. This is Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. As it is the first scripture, we'll get the word. The word in the word. The word for diligence is mashama. Mashama. Place of confinement, prison, guard, jail, guard post, watch, observance, jail, prison, guard house, guard, guard post, act of guarding, observances. Ward 12 times, watch 4 times, guard 3 times, diligence once, offices once, prison once. And I'm not going to read all of these, but I'll sort of scroll through so you can have a chance to pause it. Look at that. So guard a watch. What did Yahweh say? He said, watch as well as pray. Watch as well as pray. So this is Ephesians chapter 5, 15. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. I'm going into that word circumspect, simply in the English, circum, relating to a circle or a um, perimeter. <laughs> uh, no, you have that you have that word actually, circumference, never mind perimeter. Circumference meaning the whole of a circle. Spect, you have spectate, spectacles. So it means to be looking about, looking about on each side, which is how we should be when it comes to prophecy, when it comes to all manner of things, when it comes to these words, we should be looking at them on all sides. Not to say you have to look at every single word in every single scripture, but it should be on your spirit to want to, to know it all. Right, Luke 12 and 58. When thou goest with thine adversary to the magistrate, as thou art in the way, give diligence that thou mayest be delivered from him, lest he hail thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and the officer cast thee into prison. Just as Yahweh said, beware of men. Beware of men. It doesn't mean you fear men, or you fear men above the Most High, but it means you, you operate in wisdom, man, as, as sheep in the midst of wolves. Now, I believe this is concerning spiritual gifts. Yeah, can, can. Right, Romans 12, and what's that for? For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we, being many, are one body in Hamashiach, and every one members one of another. Having then gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, the Chana, with the prophecy, let us prophesy, According to the proportion of faith or ministering, let us wait on our ministering, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity, he that ruleth with diligence, he that sheweth mercy with cheerfulness. And now we're, we're being groomed up, we're all being groomed up in this for rulership to Revelation the second chapter and all manner of places Daniel the seventh chapter the 18th verse when it's all said and done after this side after the second death all Israel will be saved all thy people will be righteous you have a great m multitude of children and they'll be nourished up in the kingdom in the way of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and then those of the elect nation at that side at that side it will be all about the nation the elect nation right now it's about that remnant that remnant according to grace we're being groomed up into that rulership into that uh, kurios in the greek so this word diligence there it says spude spude and when you go into this i believe this is where you get the term speed and everything that derives from that it says haste with haste, earnestness, diligence, earnestness in accomplishing, promoting or striving after anything. 
to give all diligence, interest, one's self most earnestly. It says diligence five times, haste twice, business once, care once, forwardness once, earnest care once, and carefulness once. So I read the ones that say diligence verbatim. And that's another another great one, Romans 12 and 11. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. And Yahweh said, Know ye not that I ought to be about my father's business. Second Corinthians 8 and 7. Therefore he is as you abound in everything, in faith, and utterance and knowledge, and in all diligence, and in your love to us, see that ye abound in this grace also. Hebrews 6 and 11 And we desire that every one of you do the, do shew the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. 2 Peter 1 and 5 And beside this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge. There you go, it continues. All of these are key components in you, making up you as a man or a woman making you up as a, an Israelite of the Lord. Now we all have different offices between, well, between man and woman, and even in that man and woman. But as it said, there's many members in a body. And just, just to put it in, well, it, it sort of uses the same parable, but to say just because you're a foot doesn't mean you're not necessary unto the shoulders, unto the head. If you've got one foot, it's going to make it a lot more difficult to manoeuvre than if you have two. Well, that's just simple. Jude 3. I say that because there's only one chapter in Jude. So Jude the third verse. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. So to contend, to get into... Um, <laughs> let's go into that word there. Not we're all Israel, and we all basically believe the same thing. So let's let's put quote unquote differences aside, because Yahweh wasn't of the mind of well these wicked scribes and Pharisees. They have Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob to their father, so they, I can't rebuke them. So if Yahweh was on the earth, what spirit would he be in today? Especially considering how degenerative things have got in the quote unquote Israelite community. And truly there is no common unity. There is a common salvation though. Alright, this word contend. <laughs> a contest. <laughs> yeah man. A contest being in it to win it. Going in to run that run that race. It speaks about in um first Corinthians nine and twenty four. This is all part of the diligence. 1 Corinthians 9 and 24 Know ye not that they which run in the race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. And again, that's being us, being us nourished up, or um, groomed, that's what I, I rather said, we'll be nourished up in the kingdom. We'll be groomed going through that fire. To purge out any leaven, any undesirable traits and qualities, we're being nourished. No, 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 not nourished. Salakia. We're being groomed up into that position for rulership. When you go into this word, strive for mastery, it's that word there. Agon, agonides. Oh, oh my. Agonides am I. So I'll search up the word diligence again. This is the the key one I, I based it off in my head. Second Peter one and nine and ten. Wherefore the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do these things, ye shall never fall. Now ultimately, if the Lord set it up to where you're meant to fall, of course you'll fall. But those that are set up already for time. Well, the spirit was put upon them to give diligence to make their calling and election show. Because it's again, that's another proof about 
It's not about the quote unquote whole nation now. Romans 11 and 7. What then? Israel, Yasharala, hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. So that's a telltale sign if you, if you hear about nation building on this side, or that the whole nation's going to get it. Well, that's not according to the scriptures. 2 Peter 1 and 10. Wherefore, the rather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things, ye shall never fall. For so an entrance shall be ministered unto you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Saviour, Yahawashai Hamashayach. When you go into that, it talks about an entrance so narrow that how, how many men can pass through at once? What does it talk about? A straight gate and a narrow path. What does it talk about? Water on one side, fire on another. That's representative of affliction. And the, re the way you're going to get out of that is by making diligence. Or giving diligence. Again, it's that word. Spudezo. Spudezo. Strong's G. 4704. Spudazo. 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 <laughs> I'm messing up with the uh, vowel points. Vowel signs, I mean. Endeavouring, it says there. So I think I've read this once. Or I've read the... Um, Red Spude, so this is coming from the same root of that. Wait, did it, diligence, did that not come up? Oh, okay, okay, Salakia. Yeah, cool. Second Timothy 4 and 9. Do thy diligence to come shortly unto me. Second Timothy 4 and 21. Do thy diligence to come. Before winter, Eubulus greeteth thee, and Pudens, and Linus, and Claudia, and all the brethren. I just want to check I've not skipped any there. Okay, now we'll get the scriptures on that same word, and then we shall close out. This word here. Hmm. Look at this, 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Study. And what's that word? Spudadzo. Study to shew thyself approved unto Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Not freestyling, not thinking any, <laughs> it's a light thing. All right, and, and I'll just do this. I'll sort of make it up myself. It's fine. I don't need to study. I'll just. I just freestyle it. I'll wing it. That's the, that's the word I was looking for. I'll wing it. Not in the spirit of winging it, but in being speed and making haste. Look at that haste in making haste. So making haste to look this up quickly. Let me pause this and run and get this. Get my concordance. Something like that. To study. And that word for study is the same word for, for diligence. I'll get this last one. Then I'll be gone. 2 Peter 3 and 14 Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent, that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless. So you need to be found of him, in him. You need to be found in Yahushai, in peace, in Shalom, by Shalom. And we do that again by giving that diligence to make our calling and election sure. Not just relying on, oh, it'll probably be fine. You have to be zealous, fervent, yeah, let's get this last one. I know I said that was the last one. Turns out it wasn't. Luke 12 and 35. Let your loins be girded about and your lights burning. So that all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachakwadash. Shalom.